Yep, you guys see it. Curb strip. Got all this neutral ground in the middle. And uh, this is an old school over here that I've never hit before. But I drive past here all the time going to my curb strip down the road. So today I just thought, man, there's no schooling. I might as well uh, do what I call stick and run, stick and move. I uh, just get my gear on and I just take off walking through these neighborhoods and curb strips and just start hitting them. And um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start sticking and moving here. See uh, what I can pull out. Uh, I'm running the Equinox and I'm actually running... What I'm going to do first is run a coin program, Andy Savage coin program, and if I come across old coin, then I'll change over to another program and uh, start hunting a little harder. But uh, until I can find an old spot, this is what I'm going to do, stick and move. So, all right, get you guys back with me on the first good target. Beep out. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just had a real shallow signal uh, banging a coin, like coin on my Nox and I see something here What is that? Wow guys, I don't know what I guess it's a keychain or maybe dog tag like coins on it oh yeah I think it is a dog tag all right guys we'll look at it closer on the wrap-up looks like it's been there a while huh all right keep out all right guys so I have a signal here it's about four inches Five inches down in there, and it looks like it might be silver. I don't know. Oh, so I don't think it is, guys. What is it? It was a. Uh, it's a nickel. But it's not red. Oh, is it a war nickel? It is! It's a war nickel! Oh, that's my first one ever! I've never found a war nickel! It says 1943. Right there. 1943. That's a silver war nickel, guys. Wow! I have never in all my years ever found one of these. No freaking way. Finally. What is that? It's got a spot on the back. A piece of concrete or something. I don't know what it is. But, oh, shit. Yes, indeed, guys. 1943. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's there. War nickel. Woohoo! That's a bucket lister, guys. Alright, this place is paying off. This school curb strip. Alright, I'll get back with you on the next good target. We'll check this out. I'll clean it a little bit with some water, rinse it off. Um, when we get back to do the wrap up. Alright, beep out. Alright, guys, I'm back. I just got something here. I don't know what the hell it is. I have no idea what that is, but it's ringing up 30 on the knocks. Yep, 30. That's quarter range. Looks like it's got some kind of pattern in the top. Yeah, I don't know what that is, guys. I have no idea. If any of you guys know, leave me a comment below. Alright, guys. On to the next target. Beep out. Alright guys.
guys, I'm back and I got a crazy target in this freaking hole. I don't know if you guys can see it. It blew my headphones off. It's an elephant. And I think it's made out of lead, guys. Wow. Yeah, it's a lead elephant. Oh my gosh. That's got to be pretty old. It was pretty deep. Probably five inches. I don't know, man. Like, I guess they used to give kids lead to play with. <laughs> Anyway, that's what it is. It's a lead elephant. I've never seen one before. Alright, I'll get you guys back with me on the next good target. Beep out. Alright, guys, I just found something else crazy here. I don't even know what it is. It's like a ring, a brass ring. Pretty old looking. Huh. I don't know, guys. If anybody knows, leave me a comment. So I changed over. I wanted to tell you guys, I I got my Park 1 set um, with, the, with the coin, uh, with the coin mode, okay? And then I went and set my Field 1 to a different setting so that I have um, I can flip back and forth through and the uh, field uh, only thing I have discriminated out is the uh, minus stuff so I can hunt um, you know it pretty much gets everything except some iron um, so I run through an area with that coin program and then I flip over to the field one which i have the disc set only the minus numbers i think i stopped at one um but anyway that allows me to cherry pick anything silver out at first and then go back and uh switch over programs and then hunt you know the rest of it um so that's what i'm doing uh it's supposed to snow here today and it's been raining already the sun's out again, though, so we'll see. We'll keep on going. All right, I'll get you guys back on the next good target. Beep out. All right, guys, I'm back. I got something in the hole. I think I know what it is. I've found one before. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a kerchief. Kerchief, they call it. I found an old Boy Scout one, uh, but this one's not a Boy Scout. I think that's a wolf on this one. But this is a Christian church school behind me. So, yeah. Yeah, I got one of these at home, but it's Boy Scout, I think. Nevertheless, it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we'll clean it up at home and look at it on the wrap-up. I think that's a wolf. I can't really tell. But I'll get you guys back with me on the next good target. Be proud. All right. All my buddies out in detection land, we are here for the wrap-up. Uh, the weather did turn bad, uh, so it was a short hunt. Um, but nevertheless, we'll start with the good. It is a war nickel. Uh, 1943, and it does have the P on the back, um, which, from what I read, indicates that it is a war nickel, plus it's silver. I already know that. Um, uh, and I've never found one. That, in all my years of detecting, I've never found one. They were only made from 40, uh, 1943 to 1945. I believe, or 1942 to 1945, something like that. Um, and that's a 1943. So that's an awesome find. That If I didn't find nothing else, that made me happy right there. Because I've, I've often looked for those and just never been lucky enough to come across one. So, bucket lister there. I'm 
thank the metal detecting gods for that one, right? <laughs> anyway, um, here's the kerchief. Uh, thing that I found. And I think that's a cat. A bobcat on the front, not a wolf. Um, so, I, I found one like that before. Um, right here. It's a Boy Scout one. Uh, it's a different. It's got blue on it. Um, anyway. I found that a long time ago. Um, Here's the dog tags that we, you guys seen, and they're pretty well trashed. It's just a bunch of tags. Um, here's the junker ring in between rain that I found. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the reason I knew there was something up with that nickel is because most of our nickels come out of the ground orange. Like that one. Um, and there, I knew something was up because um, it just looked like silver, but it didn't have a reeded edge. Like the edge wasn't rough, so uh, it took me a minute. It always seems like when you're on camera, it takes you a minute to realize what you have in your hand. <laughs> um, but anyway, we did get some clad. Um, eight nine quarters there eight quarters uh six dimes and uh like eight seven eight pennies um and they're not wheaties they're just regular pennies um anyway uh the lead elephant that is something like i've never seen um i never heard of them i guess back in the day they didn't know about lead being bad for you so they gave it to their kids to play with hell i might have played with it i don't know um but anyway um it was a good hunt i'm thankful for that nickel i'm thankful for all these relics so uh also i wanted to say thank you to stories lost and found for giving me a shout out for my channel um we really appreciate that if you guys don't know who stories lost and found is go and check them out they're a great channel also. They do great things for our community. So, all right. Beep out.